Well, the White House making a move that could regulate your overtime at work, but Maria Mar Bartiromo, who joins us live, says that's a big mistake. Is that right? Well, you know what the problem is with making things tougher for small business is that they're just going to restock the deck. They're only going to say, okay, here's the money that we have for expenses and for wages, right. and that's the that's finite amount of money. That's it. And so if you're going to make it tougher for small business and force them to pay more, or it's just going to mean that they're going to either cut full timers to part timers or not hire new workers. Isn't it consistent that the, the, the it seems like the policy is more of this White House than most others? They say, here's the policy. They don't anticipate a reaction to their policy. No, that's and the not reaction right. starts and the adjustments made. Uh, absolutely. And, and, and the issue here is in, we all know that small businesses are the biggest creators of jobs in this country. But the problem is, is when you make it tougher for them, they're not going to create more jobs. So, really, what I think what the administration should be doing is focusing on tax legislation. Make an environment where taxes yeah. come down, broaden the base, and then encourage businesses to, in fact, create jobs. Sure. Because we're going to keep running into this. Right. The same thing happened with Obamacare. Minimum what did, wage, overtime. Minimum wage. So what did, what did companies do on the heels of seeing their expenses rise for Obamacare? They started turning full-time employees mm -hmm. into part-time yes. employees. Yes. So, I mean, it's no yes. secret here. Mm -hmm. You need to make an environment that is favorable for business to encourage business to create jobs. Well, what was once a career now becomes a part-time job, something less secure, in fact, right? I mean, exactly. the trickle down is really hard. It falls on the back of the average American worker. And that's what we've been seeing recently. I mean, American families are getting squeezed because of the cost of health care, because their wages haven't gone anywhere. The truth is, is wages will increase when growth increases. Sure. And the only way to see economic growth is to see businesses create more jobs. So it's this vicious cycle so that the So by cutting the taxes or doing understand. some sort of tax reform would be a good step in the right direction. Huge. That's what right. Right. business wants, they want to see tax reform. And the good news is Paul Ryan says that's going to be his priority as chairman of Ways and Means. He says it's we're ready to go on that. I hope we can actually get something done on that front because right. I talk to business leaders all the time and that's what will move the needle on, on creating jobs. Opening bell has. We got a big show today. We got Julian Robertson, the founder of uh, Tiger Management, mm -hmm. the big hedge fund. So he's going to talk about allocating money in an environment where stock prices keep going up. And then we'll talk about in regulating the internet. Uh, Obama's call for that with uh, AOL chairman and CEO Tim Armstrong. Big show there, so you yeah. don't want to miss Marie on opening bell 9 a.m. on the Fox Business Network. Find it in your area. Go to foxbusiness.com slash channel finder. A great lineup. Today. Thank you so right. much, Thanks guys. Have a great day. All right.